Jar had sex uh, with your elbows, and that's why they were mad. Fucking isn't it about the? It's not about the consent thing. I don't care about that. It's just because you were using your elbows. We live, Matt. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And everything is fucking working oh, right now, man. Huh? Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Shit a brick, man. Oh. Stop, stop. <laughs> Just wait and stop and control. It's okay. hard, man. It's hard. All right, look. Look. All right. This is episode number 38 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. All right. After this one, there's only two left, Matt. I just want to try. There's only two left after this. All maybe right. those last two we might get through without swearing man I think we should go a whole episode baby that's what that's how we'll make it up to you actually we've got three episodes left imagine if we tried to do an episode including where we didn't this swear one? yeah including this one no oh Not the Christmas bad. special Christmas mate. special <laughs> 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 um, alright you this fucking what's to happen to us well I'll tell you what we had a good little weekend it was Mon's my, my partner's birthday a little party finally moved did everything. she like my gift yeah yeah she did actually yeah she said she would be using putting them I to good use thought they'd come in handy hey um, and yeah it was a fucking good little weekend nothing crazy and fucking here we fucking are ready for war cunt we're fucking nearly five weeks ahead and backing up content Matt mm. yeah so we could have we could uh, have a holiday right now if we wanted to but we're not going to Obviously. Because they're save for Christmas. Well, there's some good shit coming up, man. There's some fucking good shit ha- happening in our lives. Right now, the po- Australian Podcast Awards Listener's Choice Award, the lines are open, okay? We're going to put the link in the description. All season, we've been saying, please. <laughs> we prepare. Please prepare for this, okay? They're open now. Arm yourself. You'll probably have already heard of this, some of you, because we're going to be promoting it on our... Um, podcast on our social medias through on friday because they've just opened on friday right you're listening to this the monday right so fucking click the link vote for us we'll be forever grateful okay in fact send us a screenshot of you voting for us to our instagram only our marty and michael instagram only please nothing else please not facebook or anything else and we will we will try our very best to get back and send each of you a personal thank you message we did last year we managed to do it last season it took we, like two yeah, days it took a long time we only made it what like sixth or seventh we came seventh like following. yeah i think we came like seventh or eighth last year so let's so see if we can out of australia it. so let's fucking let's just fucking bind together and see if, because it, if there's nothing better than australia's best or most voted for podcast being our podcast because it's just it's not right for it to be the most popular this is such a disgusting fucking podcast if if not for to support us just think how funny it would be if they had to play a snippet of our podcast as the winning podcast of Australia. Imagine a real like, 10 second long squirty. Dude, or a fucking, or a diary <laughs> entry or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's happening. All right. So please, before you even continue listening, can you please go and vote for us? Press all right. Pause. Even when they read out the, read out the name last year. Yeah, it was, it was hot. so funny just to hear someone go, the Marty and Michael, fully actual. <laughs> and with that slight confusion around what that name means. And like, it's just like, it shouldn't happen to us. You know, yeah. it's like this, no We're one- breaking the system. We don't get, Spotify would never give us a Spotify original. We never get money from YouTube because the shit we get, we say is too fucked. <gasps> I'm going to say it's too late now. (laughs) And it's just, it's all word of mouth. And the ring force has grown. We've doubled, more than doubled our engagement viewership since the beginning of this season, let alone last season. Imagine next season. Dude, next season, it's going to be off the fucking charts, baby. I thought you were going to say off tap, man. <laughs> I'm seriously so excited for next year. You can't even believe what's going on right now. <laughs> I was so, I was oh my keen God. on off tap then. <laughs> but... Now, if you don't want to vote for us, you can obviously still um, support us just by simply liking, commenting, and subscribing. All right? Comment the word comment if you don't know what to comment. And just fucking keep it going, brothers. This is, we're fucking... It's good. It's very, very good. We're getting there. It's we're exciting. fucking getting there. Finally. Yeah, it's been a long year. I, don't know, I need to get something out. Oh. What do you need to get out, man? Why is there like a... Is there, is there a bottle of piss out there, like urine out the front? At your house, yeah, there is, mate. Yeah, very well spot. You got a keen eye for uh, detail, don't you, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. Why? 
I okay. I'll tell you the truth. I was waiting for my pizza a few months ago in my car. There was no toilets <laughs> around, so I pissed in that bottle in the car. Why did you piss outside? Because there was people around. Okay. So then, I I saw the bottle in there a month later in my car, and I was like, I could leave it it's there because cool. I wanted to leave it there because it's just like everyone asks, why is there a bottle of piss there normally? But I was like, fuck it, science it up, take it out of the car, put it in the sun, see what organisms form from that shit photosynthesis mm. oh yeah okay have Stuff you like sniffed that. it um no you really shouldn't if you go get it i will you really shouldn't ever waste any of your waste i don't think holy fuck oh, you should keep oh wait steve saved his piss right yeah i've got an idea okay this will be great <laughs> <laughs> okay Next week or this week, we're buying a deep, a big freezer. A big, deep freezer. Yeah. Okay. A big, long one. The ones that people, James has. We go for ice baths. And when we put Fuck bodies me, in. Hard. Okay. We'll get it. We'll put it in the garage. I'll start. I'll buy heaps of ice cream. Buckets. Buckets. Empty of it. I'll maybe even have some ice cream. Have them, I think. Then I'll start shitting in the tubs. And to stop the smell, we'll put it in the freezer and we will save... For the whole year. Get a, get a whole freezer full of shit, Matt Brown. Then when Julian's out of town, we get all the frozen shits and we put them all in his room. I oh. so angry. And that, and that is the frozen- Don't sh- fucking say- Maybe we should cut that. Oh, he hasn't listened to anything. He hasn't listened to- No, he does. He, and he got angry at me because I told everyone about his Fortnite poster. Look, oh, yeah, look, uh, um, look Julian, it'll it. be a long- This will be this will be months, if not a year or so away. You know, so like, yeah, don't worry so about, about it. Forget, yeah, forget about, about it. He'll forget about, about it. About it of course. But, or like, I don't know, we could do some other stuff with the pool as well. Like, imagine like, okay, we buy a blow-up pool, right? We put all the frozen poo in the blow-up pool. Then we test with science shit something. If the poo- melts from the sun and we see what happens and if we want we could go for a little swim in the shit have a have a shit swim you think i'm just gonna put it out there i I don't want to be part of that (laughs) like i've never seen someone swim in their own shit is it just like sewage i guess it's it'd be like swimming in sewage but it's like but but it's your shit but it's not there's no water or anything else mixed with it. it's just purely shit so it is different just have to get in your eye and you'd be so it is different. Pilot, like, can it you is s- different to sewage. All right, it is pure shit. You know, it's like sewage is like slopping a bucket of shit in a fucking in a in a washing machine sized thing of water. You know, you know, it's like mm. it's diluted. Yeah, if you will, it's waterized. I like that. It is. Like, it is thinned, thinned out. You need the thick slop of shit purely pressed against your skin, cunt. Yeah. Well, what could we? What's a science title for that? Can you swim in your own shit? Well, no, just what happens when you swim in shit? Okay. See, that to me... Because that's actually what, well, that's what... What's interesting about it, Matthew? You fucking idiot. It'd be quite like thickish. Oh, yeah. Or it could be silky. Could be smooth. Yeah. With hard bits in it. it could Come just- out with corn. You should just eat corn for a whole year, can't Well, there'll be different... There'll be different sections, man. There will be so There'll be different, different fucking groups. sections. Like, oh. <laughs> anyway, speaking about a whole river of shit, um, please thank thank you to our sponsors at manscaped.com. They've agreed to even stay on with us next season. Um, and they have a fucking shitload of really awesome male grooming products. They've 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 emailed me. They've emailed me, right? And they've asked me to talk about something about Christmas. All right. I can't remember exactly what it was. But there's some good shit happening around Christmas. Okay, so manscaped.com, cool Christmas shit happening. So if you want to buy some shit for Christmas, right, use our discount code fully actual 20. Do you understand? Fully actual 20 for 20% off across the board. Every $5 you spend, they'll fucking flick one back at you because you said fully actual 20. And if you buy it around Christmas, there's some weird Christmas shit happening. Dude, there some, they have some fucking cool Christmas shit going on. All right? They, there was some really specific things they asked me to mention. Look, the email was sent a few days ago. I can't find it now. Yeah, and your brain hurts. We're Man, and there's no time. We've got to move on. Sponsors done. Manscaped.com. Legends. Only brand, actually actual brand, willing to work with us. Yeah. The other brand is us. 
our University of Markle, our subscription website where we post the most unique, groundbreaking, scientific fucking shit that you have ever fucking seen. You won't see it anywhere else, okay? Yeah, that swimming and shit one. Would we have we've solved way. world hunger. On there, we've seen if pineapple makes cum taste better, legit. There are some really big myths that have been confirmed or denied on our website, okay? There's some fucking crazy shit that happens on there. So crazy, I can't even fucking talk about it. And you can watch it all for free. You can sign up for free for 21 days to see if you also agree with me that it's really good shit. Then after that, you stay on, you pay 10 bucks a month or some shit. All right? That's as simple as that. If you can't do any of that, like, comment, subscribe. That's all we ask. Just, to, just like the video, subscribe, or and comment the word comment if you want. Matt is not subscribed <laughs> to the our to anything channel or our Matt has no commitments internationally. I am. Loves Fortnite. So I'm though. single. He's a fucking Fortnite fiend. So is Julian. Julian no commitment. It's probably more so than you now, so to speak. Julian's like. Well, oh, Julian is. Well, when it's not, I haven't seen it myself, but. There is rumor that he is top 10 in Australia, which means he could end up representing Australia at the Fortnite game. Really? He hasn't even told us that. Well, he doesn't want anyone to Dude, know. Yeah, he, that's so true. He's so weird about it. Did anyone... He said no one really messaged him about his um, getting his Fortnite gamer tag or whatever. So, if you yeah, right. seriously want to play with him, because he does it all the time, just give him, flick him a message and ask him. He wants message. to play. Hey, he, he shot me a message this morning before and we were even... <laughs> yeah, it was, we it was, he was at 5 a.m. He, he shot you a message. And he's like, mate, your joke on the podcast about fighting the night oh, yeah. was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he loved he that. Fucking loved that. He, no one else got only him. Julian gets it because he knows Fortnite <laughs> yeah, shit he was really like, well. Yeah, he was like, dude, he was like, he couldn't even talk. He was like laughing so much. Like, yeah, he fucking loves the chat on there too. Talks to all the kids on there. Like, oh, you know, there has a lot of kids play the game. It's it's mm -hmm. it's it's truly um, a conflict of where you think that his um, current personality is at. Uh, just to have this habit on the side, it's um, it's really quite bizarre. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. we're thinking about um, because we haven't really done many segmentsy things lately. The German segment is still on ice while we wait for Nicole. But we really and this is a segment that will be um a bit more better and specific next season. But we want to start a few now. We're gonna have a submit your video segment. All right, so fucking each week next season, each week there'll be topics that we want people to submit their videos to. But for now, just send us some fucking, we're just going to have a video submission segment. All right, if it makes us laugh or it's fucking interesting, we'll play it. You can do your best. You can fucking do a fart. You can be Matt Brown. You can be more B. You just and unique shit. What oh. are you good at? About you can, the you podcast. Can, you can bound backwards. Send in a video of yourself bounding backwards down a really steep hill towards some thick scrub brush. Fuck it. Rip a toenail off. Anything you want, man. We'll fucking play. This podcast's going to fucking blow up over the next few years, baby. You can say you've been on that. Don't you understand, baby? Don't you fucking get it, baby? <laughs> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Baby. Uh, what? Where do you want them to send it to the fully actual? We'll Instagram? go there. Yeah, fully actual um, Instagram. Just because we get a fair few DMs, it's quite hard for go to, to go through them all. Sometimes we miss some. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, moving right along. Is that phone fucked up yet? No. We're all hyper vigilant now, but no, so on edge. Sorry about our little um, audio fuck up um, last week. Things happen. It's fine. We've already said sorry for last week. Last week, it I was think. a technically, yeah. technically, and we thought. Error. To be honest, we thought it would. We thought it was going to sound um, not so, not quite, not as fucked when when we did hear it. So, you, you know what they say? Fucking. Um, they. What do they say? What do they say about that? They say you, something very specific about that very scenario. It's fucking Monday today. It's fucking Monday today, mate. So like, just fucking. Oh. Like that. Shake it off. Oh. Isn't it Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, it's Sorry. Tuesday today. But that's, that's the what saying. they say. That's what they that's say, what they though, Matt. On this day? No, they. <sighs> yeah, he wouldn't get it. Anyway. Science shit. Um, man. You, Matt came in earlier today, um, wrote a little, di a little on this day. Didn't you, Matt? Yeah. Um, and, you know, the um, you're enjoying writing them again? Yeah. 
I just like researching. In yeah, the man, just loves looking at things on the internet. Loves it, eh? So, <laughs> without further ado, <laughs> long this day, hey? <laughs> adieu. Without further ado, <laughs> yeah. where is he? On this day in 1997, the Backstreet Boys became addicted to sucking tits. The addiction became so severe that they would suck a quick tit in between songs during their concerts, sometimes without consent. The blonde-haired one even sucked so much tit that his teeth faced forwards out of his mouth. They'd slowly been bent that way over a long period of time because of the sheer volume of tit sucking that went on. They only recovered from their tit-sucking addiction when their management decided to only allow guys and chicks with their kit- tits cut off to come to the concerts. <laughs> yeah, what? <wow. laughs> Fuck, man. man Nick Carter is hot. I've, he had, well, he's the one who had the fucking teeth facing forwards out of his mouth from sucking so much tit. Man, that would get... It, it'd get boring. <sighs> it's just a tit. No. Oh, man. You can suck a tit all night long, man. Seriously, man. Mm. Well, you sit Have a there full and tit. Su- like, you can just suck and get the whole thing in, man. That would if be If you cool. don't release like the that. suction, mm-hmm. you can you can go... Look, you can go... And breathe out through your nose. And the tit stays in your mouth. And then you can suck more and more and more in... More breath, Until yeah. the entire chest cavity is in your lungs. <laughs> Wow, so you can pretty much take lungs into, into your lungs. lungs. It's double lunging. Yeah. It's seen it on porn. <laughs> <laughs> Diary entries. Okay. Oh, man. Fuck that. Imagine if milk came out. Sometimes blood, if you suck hard enough, sometimes a mix. Oh. A bloody milk. A, a thick bloody milk with pus and, from bruising. Vas- like chunks, vascular blood veins chunks, popping under the stress yeah. leaking blood into hey while you're talking about <laughs> while, you're, while you're talking while about you're talking about tits aggressively you know veins under stress <laughs> um i was thinking about this the other day and i briefly mentioned this to marty do you think that there's a chance that we hold the record for the most farts ever on a podcast yeah well, surely Surely, I don't know, because like this, the fucking people that fart and don't. Yeah, record. but I mean, like, like proper fart. Yeah, like recorded, recorded, fart. recorded farts. You know, like because this is a fart, fart. Marty's had a, like a run of big ones, but then you throw a couple in every now and then. So surely, I haven't we... fucking farted for ages. Yeah, you're broken, man. What the fuck? Sorry, Doris. <laughs> That's really just put me off. Hey, eh? I wonder why. It's because I've started eating meat again. Now I'm not gassy. It's weird. You gotta stop your burgers and have more beans. Yeah, I gotta. I can't stop with Uber Eats lately. Oh man, it's hard. Oh, eh? man, it's I, I, I officially have a sugar addiction. It's fucking there. Yeah, your sugar addiction. It's only is on a weekends problem. though. Really? Yeah, like I was so tempted last night because I only I ordered Thai, had maybe three vegetables out of my stir fry, and then the rest was just rice and sauce. Mm. And mm. then I had cravings for sugar again. Mm. Watching you eat like um, ten like crispy creams. creams. Yeah, I was so close to like oh, yeah. our, crispy creams last night. Our friend's surprise party. You had something like ten. Yeah, it was yeah. a ten. How long did creams? those other two crispy creams last? Well, you, uh, okay, I was scared because I gone. thought if donuts lasted, if you bought them the night before, they don't last. Yeah, they the last night like after. a day. So I didn't have them. But then you're like, no, they'll be fine. So then, of course. I was like, all right, had a few bongs and then come two hours later, I was sneaking up, ate them within like a minute. Like a little rat. It was so good. Sniffing around like a little Like rat. I could eat four donuts in the space of two minutes. Yeah, you can ball them up into like marble sized things. You swallow and them like tablets. Oh, you don't even need to chew anymore. It's just And now you're so saving delicious. time. And I just fucking, I just don't want to do it anymore. I just don't <laughs> want to fucking do it. <laughs> I eat sugar. Yeah, no, <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, yeah, but fuck, dude. I don't know how. I, during the week, I try. But come the weekend, I just stuff. I become fucking. At least it's only. The next, the next thing would be to just, just change it to just one day. If you can do it just on a Sunday, yeah. you're set. You, you're fine. You can do it, baby. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll we'll check back in next week and see how I'm doing. Mm, I'm doing shit. My sleep's all fucked again. I'm eating Uber Eats. 
had had a few drinks on fucking Saturday. I'm all over the shop, can <laughs> I'm fucking crippled, crippled with anxiety, can <laughs> <laughs> The laughter helps. <laughs> Diary entry number 146 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. I was inspecting one of my shits t- today and I realized smell is just things evaporating. So as I breathe in the shit smell, I'm breathing in actual shit particles. The deeper I inhale, I can almost feel the shit caking back together in my throat and I can taste it. Anyway, I haven't had toilet paper for six weeks, so I'm off to scrub my shitty ass with my hands in the shower. (laughs) Michael, Michael can go the longest out of anyone I know with not buying toilet paper. He'll just... Squirt, he'll just fucking squirt in the shower, stomp it down the drain, and then wash his, wash his ass with his bare hands. No, I don't shit in the shower unless it's running. Oh, that's right, yeah. I, I shit in How the toilet. How do you toilet. know it's going to be running? Or oh, you what? can feel it sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, I shit in the, in the toilet, then I go to the shower. Ah, okay, that's not quite as bad. And the reason, I forget every time at the shops to buy toilet paper, that's why. Yeah. You, it's just like one of those things you forget. I got so much of it. But... Yeah, I buy heaps of it whenever I do. I just see and have to go back for ages. The smell, that makes sense. Smells are just evaporating things. Yeah, that's why you smell on that. So when you're smelling stuff, you're smelling evaporating things. You're smelling objects, you fucking idiot, Matt. So, sorry. So that's that sort of. Holy fuck. Good. Very good. <clears throat> Diary entry number 117 from Marty. Today, I let a man take pictures of me while I had a bath. He gave me $5 and I showed mum and she took it from me because she didn't believe how I got it. I screamed at her and dad pushed me into the kitchen table. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. There you go. Forgotten about that one, eh? Yeah, that one's... But now, reading it back, it unlocks that memory. (laughs) 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 diary entry number 69 from julian james it unlocks that memory it unlocks it Very good. <laughs> That's how I was screaming at my mother. <laughs> okay. She took the money from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's very good. <sighs> Diary entry number 69 from Julian James, Tennyson Woods from Ashgrave or some shit. 40, 60 till I die. Today I got some blind, dumb... Just let me start. <laughs> <clears throat> Start again. <clears throat> Today I got some dumb blind cunt bashed. I stole a sausage roll from 7-Eleven and the lady saw me. So I saw some blind cunt walk past and I slipped the sausage roll in his bag. Then I called the cops and they rocked up and the blind fellow like full denied it and skits out. <laughs> the cops had no choice but to bash his knees in so he folded in half. <laughs> yeah! And while everyone was watching that, I fucking ducked back into the 7-Eleven and flogged a full loaf of bread and a pack of ciggies cunt. <laughs> Hot chip sangers for dinner, bitch. Fuck off, can't stab. Fucking stab you throat, can't slash. <laughs> Man, that is a fucking. That's a dark one from Juliana. I see where he gets this energy from, though. Like you can see him, he, like he channels all that into his Fortnite play, and he just. You can see it comes out on the screen. You know well, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you've got to put it somewhere. And yeah, he's got. That's why he's calm now. But as soon as that Xbox turns on, focus. He, re- he reinvests it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, he reinvests it into himself. Yeah. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying that? Yeah. Or he's like putting more Dakota? more effort into him. <laughs> All right. <I> think. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. <sighs> Diary entry number 1082 from Matthew Gregory Brown. Ox, ox, ox. It was a cold, rainy night in the mountains. I had built us a small shelter using a mix of my own pubic hair, feces, and mints. There were gaps, and occasionally rain would drip down onto my shivering father. He was curled up in a ball, grimacing in pain at, the sh- at his shoulder wound. 
The wound looked sore, kind of like a pussy that had been stretched open with great force. I leant down and tongued at it and managed to extract one last fistful of mince from my little brown and slapped it into his wound. The hot mince sizzled as it hit my father's arm and my father struggled to fight back the tears of pain. This will help you, Dad. It's gonna be okay, I said, and then I tongued his ears, kissed his pecs gently, and flicked his nipples lightly with my tongue. My father seemed in less pain. The mince must already be working. He fell asleep and I could finally think. I knew choir and question wouldn't come up that t- <laughs> I knew choir and question wouldn't come this deep into the mountains tonight, but perhaps tomorrow or the next day. And my dad needed to rest for at least three days. I had to stop them or slow them down from finding us for just a little while. I had to find as many bears as I could and convince them to attack Queston. I had an idea. I left my hut and father and bounded backwards all the way back down the mountain and into the nearest farm. There, I bounded backwards and caught a horse. I tore its tail directly off its body and fashioned it to my head. Now I look exactly like Queston. Now all I need to do is enrage as many bears as I could in the mountains and make them think it's Queston who is antagonizing them. They're hibernating, so they will be extra irritable. Then they will attack the actual Queston as he makes his way up to the mountain to find us, thinking that it's actually me. That's fucking high tech. Exactly. I bounded backwards back up the mountain, rain pounding on my leather skin. I caught the scent of a family of bears and followed it. It led me to a small cave where the family was hibernating inside. I dove through the opening knees first and slammed straight into the skull of one of the baby bears. The baby bear's head was crunched and caved in from my blow, and it was dead. The sleeping mother lifted her head in fatigued confusion. I lunged forwards and put its entire snout in my mouth and bit it off. The other adult bears let out an almighty roar, and I bounded backwards straight out of the cave. The other bears followed me out into the stormy night, and they were now hunting me. I did this to another 8 to 14 bear dens. Then I was completely exhausted, removed my horsetail hair, and slithered home. My traps were now set. Question was certain to run into one of those bears, and they would surely think that it was him who had been murdering, injury, injuring, and sexually assaulting their families. I just hope it slows him and quiet down long enough for us to, to give us time to recover. I curled up with my father in the 69 position, and we sucked each other's balls as we slept. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. So they're fucking prepping for this battle. It's a great idea to get the bears to think that Queston was the Do one. Do we have bears in Australia? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they could have bounded over oceans for yeah, all we know. True. And I'm pretty sure Australia is bear. Yeah, yeah. We have bear, surely. We have snake. We have spider, skink somewhere. Surely we have bear. Salamanders? Yeah. Yeah, there's a salamander here and there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty cool how they are. <laughs> There's a salamander here and there. It's pretty cool how they are. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there. Oh. Fucking overhand right cunt. Um, this just in, um, we realise that we need to have an urgent bong break. See you in 30 seconds. Skip it if you don't want to wait for it. We'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, moving right along to the first segment. The segments uh, that we have today, we're going to do you some questions. <coughs> hmm? All right, and then we're going to do you some PO box. All right, we get a fuck load of letters, baby. <laughs> All from the same cunt, I think. <laughs> so we've already cool. done a few segments, and we've got prank call. You said so this is the first segment. So you're so you're already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and the prank you're, call at the end. You're 40 minutes into a podcast and then <laughs> start, start again. So that's the table of contents for today's episode. Oh, is that what it's called? The table of contents, yeah. That reminds me of primary school. Yeah, there would have been tables of contents for mm, days. Tables. Yeah, the front or the back? I'm not sure. Front the book. The front? What's front. What's at the back? The, front. the, the um, credits. The cre- <laughs> 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 I'm cramping here. Oh, 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 I see it popped out. You got fat in the chin oh. for a bit. 
Oh, cramped here. <laughs> you Did you just dislocate your shit. jaw? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what were we talking about? Yeah. Dried cum. <laughs> Dried <laughs> cum? The credits? The index <laughs> is in the back. <laughs> the, what's the what's the little <gasps> the index? Worm at the, like the actual back of the book. The index. Nah. The book yeah. cover? No, when you read and you get the gist of it. Oh, the, uh, the summary at the back of the book. It's a summary. A book summary. No, because summary- no, summary's at the start. Summary's on the very back. Oh, it, shit. Uh, it's, uh, it's fucking, um, what do you call them? Testimonials and shit. It's fucking um, <coughs> what other people think of it. This book is outrageous. Five oh, stars out of five. It depends on the type of book because then you've got books that have research and they put all their research notes in the back. Some books don't even have endings. Some, some books- aren't even written yet i'm googling it. who's read the books where you read a page and you make a decision and it says you go to this <laughs> part of oh the you mean choose your own adventure books yeah do you remember yeah, that goosebumps man yeah of course baby <laughs> <laughs> anyway appendix okay. they call it the appendix appendix right oh, yeah and we have that too humans actually have appendixes as well so that that's a double entendre. <laughs> they get infected. Oh man! So do a book appendixes. So yeah, you don't want to see it. Next question. Should we start? <laughs> Top question. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you want us to answer your question, just comment on our Marty Michael Fully actual YouTube channel. The questions with the most likes are the ones we answer first, and then we work our way <laughs> down. Okay, so have a scroll through, see which comments you really like. Give them a like if you want us to answer it, as well as comment your own question. What's the question? Make sure you punch those likes and get the questions up yeah punch those fucking likes baby so next year we're gonna have comment competitions baby man i am so hard right now <laughs> i'm so high right now that's dude. what i meant next question <laughs> first question top question went to matthew brown Knowles, um oh. who asks a lot of questions many questions equals many fish we might pick your fish. Mm. Never it's know, like baby. Buying, it's like buying lotto tickets. Yeah, exactly more. right. More comments mean more fish in the <laughs> sea, baby. <laughs> more fish. Oh, damn straight, baby. We hooked that shit, man. <laughs> I, like the way, I like the word fish. All right. Top question <laughs> is. Fish. It's for Marty. Um, Marty, how has Bosley been these days? Give me an update on Boz. Oh, yeah, he's been so much better. He's got... Um, he's fucking... He's leaned right out. All I feed him now is like... A kilo of like raw steak, raw cut up ch uh, kangaroo and some fucking a little can full of veggies and some water. And man, he's trimmed right down and fucking he's, um, he's doing real good. He's, uh, he hasn't been, he's, it's probably the healthiest he's ever been, Matt. Do people know that we eat kangaroos in Australia? I don't know. They're in like plague numbers here. So yeah, we <laughs> yeah. fucking every when I see one, like I I seriously try and kill him. Eh? I saw him on the road, and I'll pick one up. I don't go that far, but yeah. Look at Michael's nipple, Matt Brown. Grab it. Can you see it? Grab it. Oh, 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 la, 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 la. Oh, oh. That's OnlyFans content, baby. Yeah, shit, we should need to do another monetized. shoot. We need to do another shoot for that. Let's demonetize. We should do like ten shoots when we do our Christmas special. Let's get slutty as fuck. Dude, we've put the cow outfit on. Oh yeah, we'll get to it. We'll do a little, a little sexy porn sketch. Next question is from Brock Irish. Um, uh, <laughs> excuse him, Matthew Brown. I'm so sorry. Thank you. We're having a Christmas episode. Um, will you guys have some challenges and segments around Christmas in there? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, for sure, Santa's going to like be involved somehow, man. Like, I don't know yet. But <coughs> yeah, I promise you he'll be there, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's not sure what's going on. All right. Here we go. Back to normal. <laughs> I can't breathe right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, how anyway. did this get so many likes? Um, next question from Sam Warner. He feels this is an offensive question, but he wants to know whose are they? Whose are they? How is he? How is he writing that? What's the punctuation? Literally that. No, but like, is there any commas or full yeah. stops? Yeah. Sorry, there's a whose comma are they? So whose are, are they? they? Yeah. Great question. It's important that to I, I thought that because you know whose are they without the comma, <laughs> like it doesn't even make sense. But whose are they? Makes and far whose more sense. Is spelled W O 
HS. Yeah, like like similar to owl sounds, Matt. Don't you know that? But uh, who's are they? Is um, you know something that's been f- philosophized about for for years now. No one's ever really been able to truly figure it out. But like you know, depends what you're pointing at. Yeah, and we have formulas too. So we've entangled some shit. And um, there's some spreadsheets that, that really are pumping out literal information right now. And we have that back at the lab. Database center. Yeah. Well, we call it the database center, but it's really just a laboratory. But um, yeah, so we're on to it and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. All right. We hate getting into the t- technical of our Stop. science shit. It's like, you guys are probably so bored listening to this mumbo jumbo. It doesn't even make sense to you, does it, Matt? Do you even know what a beaker is? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what a fu- he wouldn't even fucking know what a beaker is or the fucking the twenty five milliliter test tubes or where to find them in a laboratory. I bet. I yeah. fucking hate you guys. So fucking. I like, hate you guys. Sitting over so there, man. He come. Yeah. He'd walk into the lab. He'd be like, "What the fuck? Why is there mercury in the mopping buckets?" This cunt? is a fucking. He would use it too. He would fucking. He'd this do is that. a waste he'd of be, time. He would do that. All of this He'll is a waste of time. He'd do this in that laboratory. <laughs> Wave his arms around. <laughs> Wave his fucking arms around. So confused. Fucking that. cunt fucking cunt next question next question is from ringworm d001 <laughs> this is a bit of fan <laughs> i'm having the worst day what did he say there he said this is a bit of fan no no what was the question i didn't even yeah i didn't it. even get to it because i just realized it's a bit offensive to me <laughs> oh really <laughs> i'm excited to hear it now boys can we have a website video with mr brown called how to be bald <laughs> but then he's mean to you oh well that's okay then and he says preparing us. marty for the near future yeah it's so true i don't know i think your hair is going to be fine for i reckon i got years. i got four more years and then it'll become like uncomfortable to look at michael i reckon you can, i haven't noticed it on you yet but yours was fucked man <laughs> Yours, Yours had to go. Bald, I shaved you're mine. You're 34. Though. You're so you, 32. I reckon you probably have more hair now than you did back then. So you probably got longer. I need it. Okay. We could think about I doing think, that video. I may accept. I, I don't know. If Manscaped has a product to, to bald you, to keep you bald, man. You know what I'm saying? If you guys come up with a good enough idea for a video, I'll accept it. All there. Right. But I have a question and this is for the rings. Do I have a, a, a do I have a future of finding love with no hair? Yeah, of course, can't. No, you say that, but you're my friend. You have to. <laughs> yeah, but 100%. there's plenty of bull, you, there's plenty of bull chicks out there. I want to know. I want to know from the rings. Yeah, if, more chicks again. More chicks getting chemo every day. More people. More chicks think it's okay to shave their heads. So yeah, of course you will. Dude, you, there's plenty girls of bull look chicks. Good with shaved heads. Plenty of bull chicks out there. So you're fine as okay. long as you are okay with having a bull chick. Yeah, she's Which who wouldn't be? It's fine. It's not, not what I'm asking. It's not what their looks. Dude. Talking about me. <laughs> You'll be dating a bald chick. That's I don't know. I'm those are your about- only options, okay? <laughs> now you only can date bald chicks. Okay? Accept that. And then you will find love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. Next question is from Oliver Cave. Um... Would Michael ever want to start a family? If so, what breed would they be? I reckon he'd have hamsters and lots of them. <laughs> I'm have ducks. I like ducks. Yeah, he likes ducks um, lately because Jackson had a duck. Or pigeons. And but f- cows, ducks, pigs, a llama. Llamas spit. I feel That's like you okay. have spitting comps with them. Do they? Golly for golly. Yeah, they spit at you. Have you never seen that? I reckon you could befriend it. Yeah. Like imagine having one of each of those animals and then you hang out in a barn. And you build like build like a like an ark as well. You can do that if you want, but And like you just get start literally a trying to get good enough for dude, me. Dude, imagine being so rich that you literally just try and get one two of every animal in the whole world at your house. You become Noah. Yeah. And you legally change your name to Noah and you have you spend like a billion dollars building the largest wooden ship. I wonder if people would believe you. It's like the biggest prank in the world. <laughs> On I on the world, if it's already happened. On the world, it's a prank on the world. So people, they've already like rebuilt the ark. <laughs> and you go, Can out, you look that up. Go Matt? out every morning possible? and pretend like God's talking to you. <laughs> 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 and then go back inside and go on social media. And say, 
God just spoke to me. We're all fucked. There's a big rainstorm coming, boys. Come to my ark on the fucking 15th February, fucking 22300. <laughs> Otherwise, it will use cunts washed away, brother. Oh, dude. That's how it first happened. <laughs> I have an answer for him. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people, if you have followers, if you're like, dude, totally 100%. Like, There'd be so many Christians who are like, fuck, this is it. This is fucking, <laughs> it's happening you again. You have to commit to the vibrating, <laughs> yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you want to convince people. Yeah, dude, you're it'd be real... hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, maybe we should do it. Michael, they That's did. What I'm saying. They did yeah. rebuild the ark. So dubbed the Ark Encounter, a full-scale Noah's Ark attraction and theme park opened in 2016 in northern Kentucky. Uh, it's constructed to the dimensions exactly described in the Bible in the Book of Genesis. Yeah, I wonder how big it is in real life. Fucking read the book. Sorry. I, yeah, I have. I just can't remember the dimensions and shit. Yeah. Well. <laughs> anyway. A barn would be good enough. <laughs> an ark would be great. But imagine just hanging out and all those animals are just your pals. Mm. And then like... Can oh, they talk to you? Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that changes everything. If they can talk to you, yeah. yeah. Want, if animals can talk to you, I'd be friends with you'd, them. You'd never, you'd never be upset ever again. Imagine like 10 Bosleys, but they're different shapes and sizes. Yeah. And one's a cow. Dude. And they can all talk to you. They love cows. And they can all talk to you and they're all really innocent like, like fucking kids are. Because animals don't have a bad bone in their body. Oh, man. And then like, oh, it'd just be the best. Imagine like you go to sleep and your pillow is the cow. Yeah. Like you just fucking, your head is on the And couch. you've got the duck sucking your dick. <laughs> <laughs> or pl plucking at your balls. <laughs> while the pig gobbles on your cock. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could go down that path if you wanted. But I, I just like a pillow. You're a weird <laughs> knob. <laughs> the duck sucking your dick. <laughs> Next to question, please, Brown. <laughs> Next question is from Air Force One. Um, would you guys ever move away from Brisbane? Um, why do you love Brisbane so much? Brisbane's, I don't know. It depends. I, would, I don't, I'm definitely not like married to the idea of living here forever. But would, Where would you go? I don't know. That's the thing. Gal Coast. <laughs> no, nah, not the fucking Gal. I like. It'd be good to go. Hinterland somewhere. Yeah, it'd be good to That's go. still Brisbane, Michael. No, you could go like Sunny Coast. Or Mount well, Tambourine. That's different. That's Sunshine Coast. It'd be fun to retire maybe Coast. in Mount Tambourine. Oh, well. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> Brisbane's. Next. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Next question. <laughs> oh, remember last week? We, I went, I went to, uh, there, was some, there was a guy named Hunter asked a question and I halfway through, I either said, no, nah, fuck it. Or, or you guys said, fuck that question. He wrote back to me. He was like, like, you're about to read my question out. And then you didn't. So I fucking raged. <laughs> oh, we're sorry. And, but then like heart. two, but like two questions later, he'd asked a follow-up question and I read that one out, but he'd already de like destroyed his house. He reckons in a fit of rage. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, it made, oh. That comment made me laugh. Well it's done. Gonna wait till the end of the podcast. We're the best men in Brisbane. Sorry. Next question is from Sam Bourne, Identity. Uh, will there be another boys trip soon? If so, can you guys film it for the website? Brown dressed as a geisha girl was one of the most hilarious yep. things. Kind of hot. We've been looking into uh, the accommodation for the boys trip, usually at the end of January. We don't usually film it though. No, we, we usually don't. We talked about this the other week. We don't, it's hard. Like we will try and we will, there will definitely be stuff filmed, but like- Oh, we did do a real, I remember I set up the, the trick shot with the ping pong. Yeah, yeah. We've got a few Kislocky. little weird things, but <laughs> even the, Lucky. if the boys trip before that, we got a video out of it. It's, they're just, they're, they're, it's just a very tame version of what's going on. Obviously we can't have our mates doing drugs and shit on camera, even for the website, because- they have like careers and shit outside of social media most of our friends like nearly all of them aren't social media people so like it's so, weird to imagine rocking up with to do drugs with all your mates and then you fucking like start filming it you know it's a bit like everyone's very aware that there's a camera you've hired a filmer Kyle? yeah yeah well, yeah but we do want to film a lot of it okay we will do our best we'll try and fucking keep 
get a video out of like it at least. Like an Olympics or something. Yeah, I'll do drunk, another drunk trick Olympics show. or something it. like that. You know? Yeah. yeah. So we'll get something out of it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Yannick Walchen. Yannick. Yannick Walchen. When are you guys finally getting better podcast chairs? <laughs> Yeah, this one's fucked, eh? It's like my ass has sunk all the way through. <laughs> That's the shit. And that my chair last week broke, and we see chairs all. <laughs> we have fucking twenty chairs outside. How are you comfortable, dude? I got this one off curbside collection, it, and it, you literally sink into it like yeah, we just half. Cannot be like fucked. thirty centimeters. Can't be fucked with like I nice get shit. Nice things. I think when we get because we break it. I think when we set the next. Um, we still have this guy. <laughs> oh, the guy with his arms tied behind his back. He, like, you see that, he'll man? be there for six months. He's gonna stay in the corner now. <laughs> he's gonna love you drawing a face on him. Yeah, so he's the chair guy. Yeah. Um, I think if we go for a new set, we might get something new. Maybe. Yeah, hundred percent. Next season set, we're thinking of making it good, like normal good, like what a normal good podcast has. Do you know? Do you oh know? man, we might even have two angles. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, we will. That's the goal. <laughs> Fucking three angles, even. Next, oh yeah, would be like two good cameras and probably like a wide a phone camera for like just a wide every now and then. <laughs> Next question is from Johnny Rambo forty nine. Um, as scientists and being the best men in the world, can a, in the world, no, just best men. Yeah. Um, can a man catch a javelin? Question mark. Oh, I wrote this down as soon as I saw it. Dude, or can we're Michael. filming this. That is a great idea. This is possible this is I not dangerous this. at all we can do this i think this is dangerous we remember did the, golf oh, balls yeah remember we the can judge you got it's so much bigger than a golf have ball. you lose sight of the javelin though it's a bit different yeah <laughs> <laughs> no we just will have blunt ones remember the guy yeah just use the one from your other videos oh, I imagine if that still cracked you in the head <laughs> oh. you'd split your Same skull your do you remember the umpire oh. or the judge and oh. the yeah, yeah. He got speared in he, the leg yeah, or something? he lost it and he lost it in the in the sky and it fucking got him in the shoulder or shoulder something, or something. Yeah. and it's stuck in full like speed him oh, yeah. oh, oh you bastard the and Olympics. then like they're like oh dan we got to measure it from there and so you had to fucking keep it in until yeah, they measured and he it. wasn't allowed to move yeah. nah, you're kidding <laughs> but he did get he did get speared though yeah, okay and his name was dan. did he live yeah i don't know sure thank you pretty sure did we answer that question what was that a yeah question? we're gonna do something with that he was suggesting oh yeah 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 great suggestion um, question for the podcast is from Michael Cox. <laughs> 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 All right, this is, I need you to concentrate. Ready? Oh, All right, ready? Three, okay. two, one. All right. Would you rather ask one question to an alien or one question to a time traveler? What would the questions be? Also, Matt Brown has a really spherical head. <laughs> I would ask a time traveler and I would say, what's the time? <laughs> <laughs> and then turn around to see if it gets a laugh and then I'm like shit I'll just wait till my question and no one really laughed Michael's definitely going to be aliens oh dude I, I don't know right now would you ask him like maybe what the time is I think <laughs> I'd probably go time traveler and then try and ask Get the lotto if numbers. he could give me the codes to the just, nuclear no just the power to time travel as well Oh, yeah, that'd be good. And then it? you can just time travel and shit. Then you yeah. will become more knowledgeable than an alien. How mate. are you? <laughs> I'm good, that. mate. Hold up, hold up. I'm good. <laughs> I imagine saying that, wasting your question on the time traveler. Think you're talking to me? <laughs> the time. How are you, dude? <laughs> huh? What the fuck is Matt Brown doing? Nothing at all. We're oh no! Imagine, sa imagine wasting the question yeah, saying no, to a time traveler. How guys, are you? You guys can't take questions seriously. <laughs> imagine being the time traveler. No, I did answer. That it was, no, you didn't. Yes. What did I say? The, I didn't even listen. The time traveler. Yeah. I he said did I would it. ask if how to become a time traveler to oh, the yeah. time traveler. Then I. Would, Sorry. Yeah, you did. Uh, then Ma I'd meet Marty aliens. upset me with his answer. Okay? Imagine that. Imagine how I like in your time traveler gets a notification. Someone in another time has a really important question, and then you get out of bed and you get there, and then he just says, "How are you?" Yeah. Hey, mate. How are you? Man, that would be great. It'd be if you were with a mate to make a joke, but I reckon the friend would get angry. Yeah, if you had a few beers and you and like you, the guy comes, all right, ask him a really important question. <laughs> yeah, okay. How are you? <laughs> yeah, if I was with you and you did that after like 
a bit of a sesh. I would understand. <laughs> like we could progress humankind so far. And then we ask him how he is. Michael. <laughs> I, would, I would accept that though. I would have a yeah, good, yeah. good I would, laugh. Probably Where would you time travel that? to? I'd probably honestly do that. Where would you go? I'd go figure out how the pyramids were made. Yeah, that'd be yeah, a good probably. time. Oh, Next God. question is from Peter Hunt. Um, would you ever go out in the real world as the Brown family as a prank? Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, that's too far. Such a commitment. Yeah, and it's just too too much. It's too too devastating for people to see. I wouldn't do that. To, that's like there. We draw the line there. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, Fucking serious one. Can. One bong and he's fucking fucked. <laughs> Next question is from Reb Skull. Uh, do you guys also think that Alec Baldwin is a damn good shooter? <clears throat> I'm going to laugh if you guys don't get this. I don't get it. Because this is relevant. It's like the, yeah, he apparently shot someone, they say in the news. Oh, yeah, he's a, he shot uh, someone on set, right? Yeah, so he got handed a gun that he thought was not loaded and he, yeah, he killed someone. Well, so it's not his fault then, right? No, it's not his fault. Imagine if he was but just joking around. What I just- <laughs> oh, dude, it's happened. What I just read today was is he might still get in trouble because he's actually the executive producer of the film. Oh, man, that's rough. <clears throat> man, that would- did the person die? Yeah. He shot them dead. Girl, yeah. yeah. Recently? Yep. He shot her yeah, dead. Yeah, so the camera, she was behind the camera. She's a cinema photographer. photographer and um, yeah, he put, took out the gun and apparently took it out <laughs> and shot- and nothing happened. Then he took it out again for another take and shot, and it shot a whatever it was, a piece, not a bullet, but I think a, a, f- a, fragment, a fragment, maybe a fragment. Because don't it, they don't have blanks in there or some shit? It went through. Sometimes, her, yeah, some of it went through her chest, and then went and then hit the director, like went in and out and hit her director. So injured two people, killed one of them. That's fucked up. Imagine just <coughs> like that happens. It's and happened you, before. And you stay in character. Oh. Dude, oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Staying character through the take. <laughs> Bruce Lee's- It's um, a sex scene. <laughs> do, you remember, oh, do you remember Bruce oh. Bruce Lee's son? He died oh. from the same thing. Got shot with a blank with blanks in the gun. But I think- How many Brisbane? Bought, like, yeah, there was a dancer, a Brooklyn stand. Yeah, yeah. Got killed. Anyway. Man, that just goes to show, man. Even blanks can be dangerous out there. So don't ever go up to, and talk to any. <laughs> uh, next question for Marty um, is from Adam Dor. Dor. Um, <laughs> that was so good. That was a good bit. Marty, you've got such a good Talked voice for reading out diary entries. Um, have you ever thought about doing an audio book or, or tell a paranormal story? Um, I haven't Using thought about voice. it. I'm thinking about it now. All right, I'll do it. Okay. Done. How good is Mr. Ballon? Oh, I haven't had Man. another sesh for a while, but... Yeah, because he posts less and less now because he's fucking massive now and his videos have to be insane. But man... Very good. Man. Sorry. Did I mention he's talking to us? Yeah. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. So. Next question is from Mad Dog. Nan, nan. Um, question for Michael. You've kissed all the Prasad brothers. Have you ever tried to kiss Austin? Surely you've kissed Austin. Oh, maybe like in a bender I've had with him. We probably have kissed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously. Michael can't remember he's kissed so many men. I wonder how many if you've kissed more men or women. Dude, literally the other day I came, that seafood that we got in Newmarket, I walked up to a dude and he's like, you might not remember this, but <laughs> we kissed. I asked for a photo of you in the toilets the other night. And you're like, and you're like, yeah, only if we're kissing in it. <laughs> and oh I, was, I remember I've started like going through a phase with fans. I only do fucking. <laughs> uh, next question is from Queston Brown. Although I don't know if it's the Queston Brown. There's a few floating around. Um, Did she just a listen? Fucking rhyme. Concentrate. <laughs> <She> just- <laughs> <laughs> to a rhyme. fucking rhyme brown town question how did julian become so fucked up some of his stories of the university are so messed up what happened to him as a child to make him the way he is was he one of matt brown's early victims question mark yeah i don't know eh? 
I don't know. He's, he seems to have, have had a very lovely childhood, but you just never know these days. All right. We've got two questions left and they're would you rathers. Yeah, um, doctor shit. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. So next born, one is from born with it, you know, Clissa Adams. Oh, this is for me. Sorry. I didn't realize. Sorry, no, Matt. Sorry about that. Hell can't. Uh, Matt, which would you rather Marty never being able to talk again hmm, or Michael losing his sense of humor and he becomes Mr. Serious. <laughs> it's frog frog <laughs> it's frog <laughs> is that what that, you become that's the fucking frog I look at his mullet he's frog <laughs> <laughs> he's frog <laughs> Anyway, what I'd you, have what to say you? I'd have to keep oh. Marty talking and Mike will become Mr. Serious because <laughs> as long as he's still part of it, we could just fuck with him so much and it'd be <laughs> funny. It'd be so funny. Yeah, it'd be so funny having a really straight, serious character amongst us at all times <laughs> who never laughed at yeah. anything that we did. Hates everything, oh, tells you the fuck. consequences. Maybe we should find one. Oh man, still smell like fucking fish. Dude, I know. I've had two showers and we- I never shower. Air the van, it smells bad. By the way, today we've went out, you know the Surströming fish the, from Sweden? They're like the worst smelling things oh. ever. We went out into public and libraries and shit and the unis and just started eating it. Cleared the rooms. Cleared them. <laughs> <laughs> you were asshole. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good footage? Uh, no, no one really said anything to us apart from one librarian. But so, I don't know. Their actions weren't like crazy, but it was pretty funny. Like people were, we were walking through because I slopped a free, few of the cans on Michael. Oh, I didn't like that. We, <laughs> we were walking around the unis and people were just, oh, oh, when we walked past <laughs> so aggressively annoyed. Yeah, like Marty said, we're in the library and there's like a group of girls like 10 meters away. Oh, what's like that smell? And we hadn't oh, even walked past it? them yet. <laughs> yeah. We just walked in. <laughs> this thing is like, it is insane how much. Like, how do they, that's the thing that bugs me out. How can they eat that in Sweden if that's what your fucking house is going to smell like for the next however they long? They must prep it in like the outdoor Swedish food house thing. Yeah, it must be outdoors because my everything still smells so fucked. We should ask them. Anyway, that video will be out on the website or we'll make a social media cut. We're not sure yet. See how good the footage is. I'm calling it a day there. That's the end of the questions, everyone. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause, baby Come boy. On the back. Thank you so much. Keep those questions rolling in, baby boy. Comment what your favorite number is. is that yourself, on the back? On the back. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That chairman's been leaning on me, but I ended his life, so I'm okay with that. Oh, watch the chords, oh, Michael's. God. If you hit balance that. Out. Oh, the chords. Ah, let's check a lot. Miss the next segment is Jalou. PO unboxing time, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters, all from the same person. And it's the same guy who writes his fucking code. What the fuck is this, Matt? What the fuck is that? I'm actually most excited to open that one. Yeah, Surely me too. it's something different. That's a record of smallest letter. All right, so these are all letters. So we're just going to open them. If these are all codes, this could be the very worst podcast gift that we've ever been sent. Well, not that they're all gifts, but the worst PO unboxing that we've ever been sent. But opening letters is hard. All right, agreed. Right, here's a big A3 piece of paper with a massive dick and balls on it. It says, if you were to suck my cock, would you drink my sperm cum? Would you let me suck your cock? No, no, I would not. Oh, fuck, he's weird. <laughs> What's that, Michael? Maybe he wanks to this, Michael. He's wanking to you right now. My cock is as small as this letter. He's wanking to you right now, opening you. this. No, no, no way. Ed Brown? He's not wanking. He can't even see me. He's definitely wanking to you, Michael. No, he loves Brown's voice. All right, let's see oh. what else we got here. Fucking hell. Oh, it's another picture. We, oh, Fuck, it's such... Deeper, harder, someone sucking a cock. Oh, Michael's dick. Lots of sperm in my mouth. Yeah, he wants to fuck you, dude. Dude, he's he's after you. You've got your own question on your hands. Thank you for all of those letters. We'll be sure to read them all. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) What the fuck is that? 
What has he got here? A little... Dear Marty Mark, I want you to know that even though you guys do weird things and make people laugh, show me Jaden, Jashan, and more think your vids are shit. Like when Jaden said your vids are shit on your which sport is the scariest. <laughs> and it was soccer. I can tell that you guys were being nice and friendly to him so he wouldn't have a fucking cry about it. Plus Jaden hasn't told any more but he is my bitch. And if he gives you beef about your vids or anything else, tell me and I'll put him back in order. I love you guys. Marty, Michael, Shami and his friends and his brothers. I just wanted everyone to keep the peace and not to say rude things about each other's fits. Also, not trying to be dogs to Shami. His ex gives me erections. <laughs> Would you ever let me put your testicles in your mouth? My testicles. <laughs> Look, and so on and so forth. <coughs> Fuck. We, we had to save him. What if they're all... What if they're all... What if we're slowly... Satisfying his fantasies. Oh, uh, there's pictures on that one, dude. This S- satisfying shit. his pan- his fantasies, and he's like wanking to us now. Well, what I'm gonna do is save all this shit in boxes, and then when we're like seventy, probably fifty for me, we'll open it up. Wait, what? <laughs> when we're seventy, probably fifty for me. You, are you saying that I will be seventy when you're fifty? <laughs> That makes no sense. Well, 50 is in like... I'm only four years older than you. Okay, I reckon 60. I'll probably make it to 60 now. Then we open it up and we can have a look back at these little memories. Hey, put it there, Matt. Yeah, these were very long, twisted uh, letters. Okay. Uh, Thank you. That that worries me that he's out there. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, fuck it. It's better than nothing. That's the way (laughs) I see it. (laughs) That's true. We wouldn't have had a PR box today. If you want to send us shit, we open it live, baby. Like, send us something from your business or something. If you want us to promote something, just let us know. We'll happily do that. The PR box right here. Send us some teeth. We've already been sent some body fluids. We've already been sent teeth and piss and all sorts of shit. Uh, Please send us more. Send us a dildo. What, what, what? What excrement did we say we hadn't been sent yet? Blood. We haven't been sent blood. Oh, I think blood. The period blood. Yeah, we had period blood. Yeah, that's blood. true. What was it then? What, what was spit? Have we been sent I don't spit? Know. Uh, anyway. I'm looking forward to the new idea for yeah, next, yeah, season, next season. Though. That could be a banger. Dude, we should all con- get everyone to contribute to the golly bottle. Oh. Make, a, make a communal golly bottle. People send in their gollies to the P.O. box. No, the thing is, if you only have one golly, it hardens and evaporates. You smell yeah. it back in. Oh, you need more you than need one golly. You need to keep a family going. But are we still keen on creating a creation from what everyone sends in? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the plan for next year's PO box. Yeah, yes. like send a finger, a bit of hair. Imagine and if we, we can, made a complete We can build human. another Requifton for, for Matt if you want. Imagine a fully actual mascot in the center here. Yeah, of made of real decomposing human body It's going to be fucked. <laughs> We could fuck it, Matt. I reckon you... This could be your love. <laughs> we could create. Michael's Probably the wife. only thing that will accept my, my baldness. <laughs> well, if we don't put hair on her, then she would. We can just not we'll, put we'll hair on her. Two. Why did they have to be bald? Because oh, that's, that's I'm worried about accepting me. That's just how it is, I think. That's I'm not sure, but I think... Rate. It's the exchange rate. Yeah, you got to go out. Social exchange rate. They say it. They say it to you. Oh, sorry. Look, I've got hair. Social exchange rate. And it's high at the moment. Social exchange rate's never been this high because of the fucking economy. Yeah, it's fucked up times, dude. Anyway, that's the PO unboxing. And now we dive into our final segment. And this week it's a prank call. All right, we haven't filmed it yet. We're filming it at the very end. I have to muster all my energy. We're going to have to have another bong break. Oh, dude, this is going to be hard <laughs> for me. And I'm going to scream my fucking lungs out at Michael. <laughs> All the abuse I can think of Matt, while he can you tries shut all the doors. <laughs> while while he tries to order all food, food. Okay. While he's trying to order food, I'm going to abuse him. This is the the abusive partner part three. All right, we've done this twice already. What are you normally my partner or my father? Um, look, it doesn't I think matter. You're my partner, normally. Well, both. Let's. I'm both. <laughs> I'm your partfa. <laughs> Your father partner. Okay, I can have that. Mm, yeah, you will. <laughs> you will have that. <laughs> mm, you'll have it when I say you'll have it. <laughs> Here we go. Fuck! 
fucking dumb bitch! More stains, man. I got stains on my fucking skin, man. Holy shit, what the fuck? Hey, come hey, here, man. Um, hello, could I please make an order for pickup? Oh, fuck off, cunt. Are you fucking on that fucking phone again, cunt? Yes, sorry. You fucking bitch! You dumb bitch! I'm gonna um, find Could I please place an order just for uh, a. Do you guys do four pizza deal? Yeah, like a combo. I'm gonna fill my elbow, baby! No, four pizza deal, sorry. Is it, uh, what's the highest pizza deal that you do? Let me rip your fucking hair out, can't, huh? Let me rip your fucking hair out, can't. How's that fucking feel, bitch, huh? How's that fucking feel, bitch, huh? Could I start with, I'll just start with, can I get a ham and cheese? Off your fucking flesh, can't. Adam? What? It's just one moment, someone will be here in a second. Give me a run, can't. Hey, can I please run, just place an order for good. three pizzas? How many, sir? Three? I'm about to fucking smash your knees around the wrong way, can't. How's that, can't, huh? Oh, um, let me piss you fucking... Let's start with the ham and cheese, The ham and cheese? Fucking looking at me like you fucking ain't been sitting around here all night. Can I also get uh, a vegetarian one? Fucking why? Like, I think it's the spicy veg. You fucking looking at me, you red eyes. Yeah, just spice it. What the fuck are you even um, doing, you red eyes? Two, you um, don't have fucking cum in your eyes, cunt! Just the, the classic cum in crust, your eyes. Please. And yeah. the third Burn pizza is like the simply Burn cheese. Burn like shit with a hot spoon, cunt! And it's simply cheese? Yeah, with, um, can I... I want you to take my clothes uh, and shove them up your ass, because I ain't washing them! Has that got oregano on it, the Simply Cheese? Wait, clean my back, man! Clean my back, there's a rake out the front! You fucking dumb Yeah, could I get bitch. oregano on it, please? Yeah, with oregano. Have you yeah. even fucking seen where your babies are, cunt? Could I also... Hey, here, baby! Your babies aren't in the house, man! I just checked your fucking could rooms! I, could I also what get, yeah, fuck, just some desserts? Have you got the uh, chocolate mousses? Yes, we do. Hack Can in I my get back! two chocolate mousses? Hack in my back, man! Two of them? Yeah. Yeah. Bring the beans in! Bring and the beans in! Is there like a tits. deal with the pizzas? Can you get like a garlic bread and drink? Oh, tits, baby! Cut them off! Oh, right, cut your tits off! Yeah, you cut your tits off tonight, baby! Oh, right, cut your tits off tonight, alright? Well, could, yeah, could I please get the, um, like a garlic yeah. bread? But could I get the cheesy garlic oh. bread? And um, yeah, could I also, with the drink, is it possible to get right, mush, my, mush my balls! Yeah. Mush them up! Um. With a spatula! Mush them up! He's in my husband. Ah, I will suck your tits. Spray off of your chest. Oh, Spread them in the bin, bitch. What was the name for it? I'm sorry. He's, he doesn't want me to have it anymore. Oh, you tell him my name. I fuck your duck. I right. fuck your duck. You tell him my name. So cancel it. I'm sorry. <laughs> My testicles! Oh, come on, repeat my testicles! They're full blue and shit. I can see again. I just had my eyes closed. That's I'm all. Sorry. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm gonna make you come on my fucking back, man. Get ready, baby. I'm so sorry. Just kidding. Just kidding, he's not really crying. Anyway, see you later. (laughs) 
<laughs> he thinks that. <laughs> you may, now you've made me think that he thinks I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah, that's why he was staying on. He was worried. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was listening to someone being abused. I hope he doesn't have your number. He doesn't call the cops. It sounded sort of like method. poetry. Dude, some of the shit you said when you said something about being a duck. I'm a duck. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, fuck you, duck. The face you pulled at me as you said that, man. I almost lost it. That was it. Oh, I no, love- I did. So I had to pretend I was crying. Good boy, Bozzy. I loved the, the that was um, strange, dude. They're very strange, but I loved the. So You're where? Where are the kids? <laughs> you where are the kids? <laughs> you look at them. Oh, here. Yeah, where are the kids? <laughs> Oh, hopefully he doesn't think that's like a really abusive home and he's doing his best to find something out. No, I reckon he was just entertained by the poetry shit. Because there was some really cool but He rhymes. definitely thought you were crying though. Yeah, yeah. but that's better than laughing. <laughs> no, then- now he might take action. Nah, he'll be fine Should with we it. call him back? I'm calling him back. But you have to say it because he'll, he'll know it's, if I'm saying it, it sounds like I'm calling back to say or oh, yeah. make sure he's not fucking. And you threaten him. Which one was it? That's him. him. All right, well, fuck it. (laughs) (laughs) We did it. Oh, we finished, have we? Yep. Well, just goes to show that's what. How many more left? Happens when you're the best. Two. We've got two left, baby boy. (laughs) The pinnacle. Oh, we might be getting Brandon Novak on the season finale. Really? Yeah, baby. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, a Zoom call. Oh, we don't know that. I haven't opened the message. I haven't no, he, yeah, it's we haven't booked in a time, but he's uh, he's keen. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, baby. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Where the best, 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 where the best. Do you want to run away and get married, Julian? Julian. Julian. Julian.